Hello, this is Claudia Orengo, a graphic designer and illustrator from Barcelona. And this tutorial, it's one of the things that excites me the most because it's how I automate my processes to end up spending much less time than I'm supposed to. So I can dedicate the most of the time to paint and create new products instead of editing and creating the files for sale. So if you don't use automations in your work process, I really recommend you to stay with me in this series of videos. In this first one, we're going to talk about Photoshop and then I'm going to show you how we can apply uh, different automations in Illustrator. So I'm here in Photoshop and I have a file, as you saw in my previous videos, if you haven't seen them, uh, search for it. It's a video about how to clean my watercolor paintings and it can be applied to any kind of painting. But in this case, I'm going to show you how I record this process. I save it in the Photoshop mem memory and then every time I have a new painting, I simply do one click and Photoshop does all the steps for me. Okay, so what I'm using is something called Photoshop Actions. You can find them under here, going to Window, Actions, and it will open you this panel. So you may see something like this with the default actions, but the first thing I recommend you to do is to create a new folder and call it whatever you want. So make it uh, something that you can recognize easily. I'm going to call this tutorial so I can delete it later, but you can call it paintings, you can call it design bundle, processes, whatever you want. So once we have this folder, we're going to start recording the steps that you want to follow in each painting. So every time you scan something, which steps do you want to take in order to achieve the end file, the, the clean background or the... Uh, smooth background in case you want to sell them with uh, color in the background whatever you want to edit even if it's just the colors the tone and the saturation I recommend you to record it in an action because it will save you a lot of time so I'm gonna follow my steps and again just think which steps do you need and simply follow this process record save it and then I'll show you how to apply it Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go here under this small menu and say new action. You will call it by a name, so I'm gonna say edit watercolors tutorial. And we're gonna select it in this folder that we created, okay? So it's gonna be saved underneath this section. When we press record, it's not about time, but from now on, it will record every step. It can, you can take the time you want in between each step. Photoshop will just record the clicks you do and the actions you do. And when you save it, it will apply it super quickly. So the first thing I usually do is I change the size, uh, sorry, the, the resolution of my file because I tend to scan at 600, so I want it at 300. And I'm going to deselect the resample option so that it keeps me the same size. This is the first step I follow. Uh, to open image size, I press Command Alt I or you can go to image, image size. Okay, so this first step has been recorded here, you see? So this is the first step I've, I've changed. Then, next thing is... I, would, I like to contrast more my colors, so I open the curves, which can be opened by pressing Command M or Image Adjustment Curves. And I simply edit something like this, not so contrasted. Yeah, like this, I like it. So I press OK and it will save me these settings for curves. Again. If you, for instance, want to change the levels and you want the white to be whiter, you can do it by coming to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and with the drop, select the white and it will create whiter. But I don't 
do this so I just press cancel okay so these are the first steps I follow then what I really want to record here is to take out the background so as I showed you in my previous videos on how I clean my backgrounds I like to use the select color range option so I'm gonna just follow these steps and since I have the white selected and I see that everything is as I want it I'm just gonna press ok so now I have this selected and I'm going to come to the background, I'm going to double click, press OK so that the layer is uh, unblocked and now I'm going to delete the background. You see we have all these steps recording here and that's all I want for the, for the process of cleaning. Now I want to save this file, I want Photoshop to save me the file so I don't have to worry. And I recommend you to create a folder in your computer that it's called something like in process and you never move it. So you can have it on your desktop, you can have it in your memory, mm, wherever you want, but don't move that folder because if you move it, then Photoshop will not find it and the action will not work. Another recommendation if you don't want to create that folder is that you save it in the same folder that you had this previous um, file you opened so by simply clicking command s it will open you a pop-up and you simply save it there but I like to keep things organized so I'm gonna create this folder we're gonna come to file save as and I'm gonna go to my desktop I'm gonna create here a new folder in process and I'm gonna save it here. We, we can save it as Photoshop or we can save it as PNG, whatever you prefer. I like PNG and I'm gonna click Save. This will be also recorded in the processes. And once we have this, I want to just close the file so that it doesn't uh, keep Photoshop all the files open. I wanted to close it and don't save because we have already saved. So what's going to happen now is this file is going to go out. Here I have another file to show you how we can apply this process. But now we have all the process here recorded. So everything is saved in Photoshop. All we have to do now is tell Photoshop that we are ready to save this. If this is my last step to close, I'm going to press here the stop sign. And now it has stopped recording. So now this Edit Watercolors tutorial, it's an action that it's saved with all the steps that I followed. And I'm going to show you how you can apply it to any file. So here I have this file with lots of illustrations and I want to, I wanted to apply the same processes. So we have different options. You can open all the files you want and you can come to File, Automate, Batch. And from here, you can select the action you want, which is Edit Watercolors from Inside Tutorial. You can tell him the source you want all the opened files, or you can select a folder, but I recommend you to, to just select the open files. And then the destination, you can say a specific folder, or you can simply say none because you have already saved the saving inside the action. This is one of the ways, but I usually what I do is I open the file and I come here, I select the action I want by pressing over it and then I press play and it follows the steps for me. As you will see, it's very quick. What it takes longer is to save the PNG format, so if you save in PSD it will be faster but it's super fast how it applies all the changes for us and we don't have to repeat the processes all over again. Okay, so now it's saved and I can go to my finder and go to the desktop folder in process and as you can see I have here my illustration all cleaned out without background. So this is how Photoshop actions work. You see how amazing this is and how much timing it can save you. This is the one I use the most, this um, recording of the cleaning for the background, but 
think what can work for you. Maybe you have uh, a product that you sell in multiple formats. You have to save it in PSD, in JPEG, in PNG, in TIFF, in whatever, in PDF, in many, many, many uh, formats. So what you can do is to record the process of saving all these in the different formats so that with a simple click, Photoshop does it for you. So I hope you find this useful. Let us know in the comments how are you going to apply it to your processes. And yeah, just enjoy the process because with this you can save lots of time. In the next videos I'm going to show you how you can apply similar systems in Illustrator.